man, you already know. You already know why I'm so hyped. So hyped to do this review because finally, something was revealed in this chapter that we have been wanting to see for so long, that we haven't seen in the longest. Something that us fans have been highly anticipating. That is right. That ass shot upskirt of Yoda Ricci. Man, I, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, to see that leg bend back and to see that slight little camel toe, you know, that hearty moose knuckle, you know, that 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 angle was live action. I'm telling you. But no, you know, all jokes aside, grim job. That's right, motivating grim job. You know what? Let me. Let me, let me. Gotta do this for Grim Job. It's me, Captain Violet Base. We live back, so you already know what it is. Here to bring you my review of Bleach Chapter 627 title, The Fame. Now, of course, the real highlight of this chapter, excuse me, the real highlight of this chapter is, of course, the return of Grim Job. We've all heard the news, we've all seen the news, we've all read the chapters. Hell, some of you have read both versions, like me. And I'm gonna tell you something. On the way home from work, you know, Someone, I, I forget your name, if you're watching this, I apologize. Someone uh, put a post on my personal Facebook fan, fan book, uh, Facebook page. And it was like a little collage of all these facial expressions, like these shocking, I can't believe these facial expressions. And he was saying like, if last chapter of Bleach wasn't enough, this chapter of Bleach is gonna just blow your mind. You know, I can't wait to see your review. And I don't know why something told me, see, this is why I need to listen to my first mind a lot more. Something told me, you know what? Do a lot of reaction. Do a lot of reaction. But then I'm thinking like, well, some people take what happened in the chapter more bigger than others. So I'm like, let me just sit back and see what happens. So as I'm reading it and I see what happened, I'm like, damn, I should have did a live reaction and kept it extra live action. But anyway, even though we all know the return of Grim Josh, the big highlight of this chapter, I still have to review this chapter as a whole and discuss the things that happen in it, the things that uh, I feel that are worthy to be discussed. So we see the first eight pages are between uh, Shun Shui and Aizen. You know, they're discussing about the after effects of Aizen being immobilized for five minutes. But throughout that whole conversation of uh, things I noticed, you know, how they basically say, you know, the Quincy's and the Soul Reapers are not coming together to save Soul Society. Basically, you know, they're just making that deal to go stop Juha. Because once they get up there to Juha, it's not like, you know, they're gonna, the Quincy's gonna say, hey, Juhai, we're here to, you know, confront you and we have our back up with us. No, they're still enemies. They're just using each other, basically. Now, this is my thing. I, I did notice, I don't know about y'all, but I love that facial expression Renji had. <laughs> the facial expression Renji had, I loved it. Then you see Giselle, you know, her nutty ass, she, the way she's holding a little Reishi or playing with it. It's crazy, but the one thing I noticed, we see Aizen still has ill feelings towards Ichigo, and he said to think, the man who defeated me has stepped foot into the royal palace before me. He was saying like, that guy's not easy to forgive. Ichigo Kurosaki. And that's, even with that one eye patch on, I mean, with the one eye cover, Aizen, he, you know how Aizen squints you? You know, he, he has that, when that eyelid just get lowered, that's how you know. He still has that hostility built up in his heart towards Ichigo. So now, I, 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 we got the Uryu and Ichigo confrontation out the way, which did not go how I thought it would have went. But we see maybe they have a, a round three at it, you know? Because first he confronted him he was on the ground. Then he confronted him he was on the uh, Soul Palace. Now they're going to confront each other again. But now we got to see this. Now we're going to see this eyes and, and Ichigo confrontation. Really can't see the words between those two. Hopefully it goes how I want it to go because so far these characters, meeting you know, up with these other characters that's really supposed to have a certain type of interaction isn't playing out good in my book. Now, as expected, we see what happened when each going friends fail. And what happened is what I said. We all knew it was gonna happen. I wonder if this was one of I wonder if this was one of Kubo's tricks or as you all say his trolling you know to make it seem like something didn't happen or should have happened where really did he just didn't show it we see orihime naturally she saves the day she catches all of them and they all fall down you know they they float down and it was the surprise but i'm glad it happened you know because i'm thinking like okay 
it, it, at least it makes sense. And they did, Ichigo did touch on something later on at the end of the chapter. I really did like the things that were making sense, like they were thinking for the most part. So, once of course we see Yoda Reese, you know, that ass shot, you know, the upskirt shot. She kicks Ichigo, she wakes him up and everything. It's a big comedy fashion. We see the return of Cone. I don't really care for Cone. You know, Ichigo blames Cone for him being unconscious, you know, because Cone came out cock diesel and whatnot. Then he loses that form and, you know, they go to fight and whatnot, just like Ichigo and Cone does. So, the thing I like the most, well, one of the things I like the most, throughout the chapter, you start to see hints of Grimjaw. You know, you see these feet. You see, the, like, the gargantuan. You see the pattern slightly beginning to open up. But, I really love the fact that they landed, hitting the ground, running. You know, because they start to think of ways to make it back up to the Royal Palace. Because you ought to reach notice the, the crack structure, she don't know how long that's going to hold. So, they start to put their heads together and think, okay, well, mainly, mainly Ichigo, how they can get back up. You know, and Ichigo, he said he can make stairs, you know, racy steps. And I'm thinking, like, you know, steps up there, you know, out of the racy. I don't know if he was talking about standing on air how they gather reishi particles under their feet or if he was doing it in a matter like juha was like each step he's actually forming reishi i mean if that's the case that'd be cool maybe because we know each go now now that he's at full power maybe he has full control over his reality which i doubt because we see his shikai is still not in sealed form so maybe that's an indication that his spiritual pressure you know his reality was so fast he still can't seal it in a uh, sealed on. Uh, it's not possible fashion, it look like a regular katana. But then he also says, or he man and the rest can make their way back up. Because on the way down, we see when uh, Starlight X with the shoot, the one arrow, you know, each go, you know, once it gets right here, he grabs it, crushes it, and when they're making their way down, you see other arrows just trying to hit him. So, Uryu was right. He said, even if they do fall down and survive, there's no way they'll make, their, make it back up. So, Ichigo, I like how he says, even if they get halfway up, whether he's going by the stairs or he may taking them all up, they'll still get spotted me away. It'd be hard for them to maneuver, you know, but I'm thinking to myself, like, man, you would think some kind of way Ichigo could just hop real or do some type of dash or maneuver, something, move real fast to evade all that. But I guess with Juha up there, uh, his, his guards, Uryu, Hash off, you know, it's gonna be easy pickings. These are Quincy's, by the way, it's easy pickings, but it's whatever. So, you see, of course, Grimcha. Yonorichi says, you know, I'll take care of this. Open up, and we see the Garganta. When that Garganta opened up, first reading the manga screen version, I mean, not manga screen version, I'm sorry, first I was reading the manga panda version, you know, I'll each go saying like, wait a minute, this this technique, what? And I'm thinking like, I know, Yo Richie did do this. Like, is this, this is a new revelation that she has some hollow or something? Like, I'm thinking, what is going on? And we see, motivate, grim jaw, jagger jack, back on the scene. Upgraded get up, hair is slightly different. You can see the scar from his father number five when he landed that blow on him. And we see when the Garganta open up, he has his hands in his pocket, you know, head tilted like, eyes closed, like, and he looks up, and he had that facial expression as he, you know, that that was a facial expression of a thousand words, you know, it, it, it really was. And Nasty Grimjaw, not, not Grimjaw, excuse me, Ichigo, he is shocked. Why he is surprised. And of course it says to be continued. And that would leave on the biggest cliffhanger and to add insult to injury. I was told that there is Golden Week next week, so there is no chapter next week. So now I have to wait, anticipate, palm sweating, nail biting on the edge of my seat, waiting for the next chapter of Bleach to see the outcome. Now I'm gonna tell you this right now. Everyone knows, all right, out of everything that happened to Bleach so far this year, this right here is the my favorite chapter so far because I've been wanting this for years along with the other Grimjaw fans, all right? Now, I can't wait to see the two outcomes, the, the conversation, you know, and the explanation and the backstory, all right? Please let it go back to where number five, Nonatora went to come down and slash Grimjaw and Ichigo blocked it. 
And the last thing you see in Grim Job is him looking up. I don't know if he was thinking like, huh, damn, I guess this guy ain't so bad after all. Man, you know, even though he's still my enemy, he really fights with a, a code of honor. Man, you know, maybe this gives me a little change of heart. You know, who knows? I mean, I remember Yoda or Uru Har, excuse me, did say, uh, what did he say in that one chapter? I don't know if he said he made a deal with him or they came up with a plan to work together, but I remember Udohar was sort of pointing at, uh, he was throwing hints that he confronted Grimjaw at some point and made some type of agreement or deal. And of course, y Yonorichi and Udohar are, are real cool, so I'm pretty sure he put, he let her in for the whole deal. That's what I'm just thinking. Now, I told my brother about this. I said everyone is hype Bleach, you know, everyone is so hype about Bleach, man. Everyone is loving the return of Grim John, everything. People are excited. And he said, for what? What is he gonna do? And I'm like, motivator, like what, what the like what you number one, I said Kubo said it in the interview. He did not expect Grim John to become this popular. He didn't. Yes, everyone loves Ukleura. Yes, we all love Ukleura. But see, this is the thing with Ukleura against Grim Jolly. You have a lot of people who do not like that blank, as they call it, emo, emotionless, expressionless, robotic, Byakua demeanor. You know, like Hero Yui from Gun No Wing or, or Lightning from Final Fantasy 13. A lot of people do not like that. They want some, some oomph, some, something that's alive in their characters, things of that nature. But some people do like the, the, the way um, Ukleura is. I think Ukleura is cool. Who do I like more between Ukleur and Grimjob? I have to say Grimjob. But anyway, my brother went on to saying like the fight was more epic with Ukleur and Ichigo. And Ukleur brought out the best in Ichigo, and you know, and Grimjob, you know, he he he's weak. Like he got defeated by Ichigo back then. Ichigo could have killed him, and he spared him. And Ichigo is stronger now. Everybody is stronger. What is Grimjob gonna do against Juha? What is he gonna do against the Starlights? I'm like, okay, fair question. You know, I said, but see, also, you got to point out, the, you got to, I have to point out the fact to him that everyone that's joining forces, they are joining forces in their own unique way. It's not just, hey, lend me your muscle, lend me your muscle, lend me your muscle. We see the door, the gate to the soul palace was shattered. So what happened? The Quincy's of Soul Reavers joined forces to join their Riachu to open the gate to work together to defeat a common foe. Well, to make their way to a common foe and try to beat them. Um, Grimjaw, we see he is going to be the way that they make their way back up there, to my knowledge, you know? That's going to get back up there. Um, another thing is, um, it's like Grimjaw, some say he stayed alive due to popularity, just like with Yakuza, you know? But I'm pretty sure he, he's done some type of training. Will he be lethal to Juha? Doubt it. But let's not forget how the Hollows are poisonous against the Quincy's. Maybe this will play a role into the um, into the elite guards. Maybe. Who knows? But I'm, I'm your guess is as good as mine when it comes to the matchup. When the rest of the Shinigami and the Quincy's make it up to the Soul Palace, along with Ichigo and friends and Grimjow, who knows? Who knows? But you know, I would have loved to have seen the full bringers come on the scene as well to see my boy Ichigo, Grimjow, and Genjo. Come on, man. I mean, damn. So overall, this was a pretty, it was a normal, decent chapter, but we see the highlight was um, with Grimjaw. If Grimjaw wasn't in this chapter, we could basically say Grimjaw made this chapter. If he wasn't in this chapter, we see nothing would have really had happened because like I said the first eight pages it was just Shunsui and I and talking and the good thing we see the patch on Shunsui you know throughout the panels because you know Kubo has a tendency to forget that uh, eye patch but the fact of the matter is everybody Grimjaw was back I'm liking the upgraded get up the two belts the long black jacket everything his hair is slightly longer messy just slightly he kept the scar um I'm gonna have to go back and look at it I'm not sure if he kept the Getsu Gatencho scar you know, because he kept that scar as a reminder, the way Sagat kept the scar from uh, Ryu off Street Fighter. But I'm amped, I'm hyped, I'm excited. Uh, this is Zanpato right here. 
which is Grim Giles. Uh, this is more for cosplay purposes. The tip is very sharp, but uh, one day I'm gonna go back and try to order the real, real McCoy, the battle ready version of Grim Giles, you know, in honor of my boy Grim Giles. So us Grim Giles fans, make some noise. I'm out for next week to show the flashbacks of uh, what happened after Ichigo blocked the shot from uh, the spot at number five, how each uh, Grim Giles been surviving, what happened when the uh, um, when the Quincy invaded Hueco Mundo, any updates on Halibel, does he look at himself as the king of Hueco Mundo? I mean, if, if, is he in charge of, uh, is he the overseer of Las Noches now, now that Halibel has been kidnapped? Who knows what the hell is going on? What is he going to say to Eisen? But that's it for this week. Uh, Elise, I will see you all the week after next, if that is true, that is going to week. So give me your thoughts, comments, and concerns. Grim John was back. It's me, Captain Boss for Days. Thanks for watching. Signing out.